equality. Well, there's no equality when you deny people freedom and the right to protest. There is no equality without liberty. There is no equality without due process in law. There is no equality when you lock up trade unionists. There is no equality when trade unions are not allowed to organize independently of the state. Incidentally, they're also not allowed to organize independently of the state in a country called Cuba, whose flag is flying over there. So we are for the right of trade unionists to organize, as a trade unionist myself, to organize for workers to defend them without the interference of the government in what they do. Unions should be able to organize completely independently of that. Um, and there is no equality when you are incarcerating hundreds of thousands of Uyghur Muslims in concentration camps. There's no equality in that. So we oppose that as we oppose um, all of the other br breaches of freedom and rights that the Chinese government is, um, is practicing. There's no, there's no equality in democracy when in Hong Kong a few weeks ago, agents of the state closed down the June the 4th Museum, which had in it whole um, exhibitions of the Tiananmen Square massacre in, on June the 4th, 1989. Now the people of Hong Kong are being denied the right, as they're denied the right in China, to find out what the Chinese government did to their own people on the 4th of June, 1989, where tanks were used to break up people protesting against the brutal Chinese regime. So we're against the Chinese Communist government and we're with the Hong Kong people and all those others who fight against the brutality of that regime. Uh, communism is also to be about economic equality and even on that front, China fails. China has more billionaires than the United States of America. Over a thousand people in China are billionaires. So to talk about some kind of socialism in China is a complete and utter nonsense. And here, and over here in Britain, we have banks like HSBC and Standard Charter actually backing, as Nadia said, the Chinese state in its repression of its own people. So don't look for friends in corporate capitalism because they don't exist. We want movements that are for democracy, for rights, at work, in the community, all, all across the world. Uh, as has already been said, I, I'm from the National Education U Union in Britain. Okay, it was said it was the NUT, well it's, it's now called the National Education Union. And um, I, my main focus today was to talk about how it's really important that trade unionists uh, in Britain show solidarity with the people of Hong Kong. I'm doing everything I can within that movement to make our movement aware that the breaches of human rights in Hong Kong can happen anywhere in the world. And over here, they are happening, happening now because our own government is planning to introduce laws that will restrict the right to protest. And here, as in, the, as in Hong Kong, we should oppose, oppose all restrictions on the right of people to say, not in my name. What you are doing is against my interests and against the interests of the people. So in Hong Kong, in Cuba, as in July this year, we are for the right to people to come out and protest against the government, whatever that government claims of itself. Yeah, we're for the right of the public to say, we oppose our government. We disagree with what you're doing. We want the right to come out here and say that we disagree with it. Okay, enough from me. Solidarity to you guys from Hong Kong. We are with you and we hope that we can push back the Chinese government both in Hong Kong and across China for human rights in Hong Kong and all of China.